I need to hear it. Ooh. How long? You got a big dick? Huh? You have a big dick? I mean, it's above average. I ain't no Ron Jeremy. No, 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 no. I asked you if you had a big dick. I just said it was above average. I don't know what that is, really. Uh, nigga, you know if you got a big dick or not. Stop the bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Every dude know whether or not he got a big dick. I know I got a big dick. You don't know? I mean... You don't have a big dick. That's the point. You don't have a big dick. You don't have a big wallet. You're a big, you're a fat dude. And you got a lot of nerve thinking you should get choosy signals at five foot ten and three hundred pounds, making less than a thousand dollars a month at twenty years old. I said if you attracted a higher value man, you think you're going to make him wait until marriage? How do you it's, think that's a sweetheart? I'm gonna tell you like this. My cookies is worth the wait. Well, first off, check that sweet. Uh, no, know your cookies ain't worth the wait because you ain't made nobody wait. You got two kids without a marriage. What works for a couple works for a couple. I can't. Shut the fuck up, Lonnie Love. I've been wanting to say that for a minute. Shut up. I and men like myself absolutely don't care what your swole up ass has to say about anything. Honestly, if you ranked yourself on a scale of one to ten, what would you yeah. do? Yeah, let's get back to reality. No, I'm in reality. No, no, you're not in reality. I'm you're in not reality. A 10. You're not in reality. If you're going to be a 10, we can end this. Because that's not reality. You're not a supermodel. So what are you? What are you? Based? You're not okay, man. Uh, uh, check your attitude. Look. Check your attitude. This whole this. Let me just go ahead and say this. This bullshit that's running around with black women. They call yourself a ten. Never say you don't. Think, that is some of the most destructive psycho babble that's going on. Now, but I don't think I have to settle with the man that I don't find. Okay, handsome. let's do it. What, what would you rate yourself on a scale from one to ten? Just your face. You cannot use seven. A ten. <laughs> Kevin Samuels officially died on Thursday morning, and the official report is a little gruesome. According to TMZ, Kevin Samuels, famous for dishing out controversial dating advice on social media, is dead. Sources have confirmed to TMZ. The influencer and self-proclaimed image consultant, lifestyle coach, and dating expert died Thursday in Georgia. According to a police report obtained by TMZ, EMS was called to Kevin's home Thursday morning for a person injured and found Kevin unresponsive on the floor of his apartment. The police report states that they talked to a woman who said they met Kevin Wednesday night and spent the night with him at his place in Atlanta. The woman, who is a nurse, said Kevin started to complain of chest pains on Thursday morning, and she tried to help him. She told cops he fell on top of her, so she called 911 and requested a defibrillator from the front desk of the apartment complex. Kevin was then taken to Piedmont Hospital and died at the age of 57. Now, don't get it wrong, Kevin Samuels is one of the most polarizing individuals on the internet. I mean, this is a guy that called women over the age of 35 leftovers. And as a result, he has a lot of enemies and on top of that has a bit of a cult following. Personally, my relationship for, to him is, I am not someone that consistently consumed his content. Every now and then if I'm scrolling on TikTok, I'll see a Kevin Samuel's clip of him telling some dude to get realistic about the women he should be trying to shoot for or telling a woman the same exact thing. And ultimately, I do respect him as a businessman. If you're able to build a YouTube channel off of a niche like image consulting, being a lifestyle coach and a dating expert, then that is something that I could actually appreciate, at least the business aspect of it. Now, of course, based off of what he said to women in the past and based off of some of his takes in the past, there are some individuals that are actually celebrating the fact that this man is dead. And it, honestly, I think this is all a matter of perspective. You could either think that Kevin Samuels was a black conservative sneaking white supremacist talking points into dating advice, playing on the insecurities of black men and women all the way to the bank. Or you could perceive him as an individual that told men to learn a trade, social skills, hit the gym and groom, and surround yourself with winners. He told women to stop being delusional and selfish, lose weight, and contempt for men. Be cooperative and be friendly. He was changing the world and saving marriages slash families, RIP. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this up about 24 hours because sometimes, guys, you just gotta get real. You gotta get ultimately real because some of you guys ain't hearing it. You can't cheat the game. You can't have two pennies in your pocket and expect to ball out rage. I made that post talking about if, you, if you're single and no kids and not working at least 60 hours a week you're lazy guess what you're lazy i don't want to hear any i don't want to hear any of these this bullshit about all oh, quality of life and life is to be lived yeah to be lived for average 
You can live that average C life, that D life, but stop trying to act, but stop thinking you should have eight, nines, and tens and be eating steak and lobster and riding good, flying good, living good. You don't want to put the work in and don't expect the outcome. See, this is going to be a little too real for a lot of people because it's like you want to hear feel good stuff all the time. But I would be remiss if I, I would not be a, I would not be a quality teacher. If I just let you feel good all the time. I'm personally in the middle of this. I just found some of the stuff he said to be very comical. It's not necessarily things that I took to heart. I didn't think of it as gospel. I don't think society should ever celebrate the death of a man just because they didn't agree with some of the stuff that he was saying. I could also appreciate the fact that Kevin Samuels was an individual that didn't pander to the masses. He said what came to his mind and what he truly felt. And I, at this point in this society, I respect anyone that has an opinion. Needless to say, this is a man that was loved by his family. And unfortunately, his mother has to bury her own son so for that, I feel a lot of empathy and I hope people could be respectful about it.